just really when I read it, it, it just affected me on such a visceral level and it was so visual and it was so powerful and the characters were so fantastic. But ultimately it was James's journey and it being such a redemptive one. And, and you know, him, you, when you read it and you start out, you know, he's not necessarily likable and you don't necessarily empathize. And you get to the end and you are rooting for him and you want him um, to survive this journey. And, and so this being really a, a movie about sort of hope in the most desperate place Pieces. felt like an important story to tell right now. The, the joy of writing it was, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't actually put myself into it, you know. <laughs> I had all the other actors on the board kind of going, yeah, Charlie would be great like this, and Billy Bob says something like this, it'll be funny, and, and then, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, come on a day one, I was like, oh God, now I've got to do my, I've got to actually do what I, you know, what we <laughs> said we would. And, but scenes like the opening and moments like that, you know, um, Sam's a very visual artist and, uh, you know, she knew exactly what she wanted to make with this movie. And um, some of her old work, you actually, there was, a, there was a piece that was inspirational for that moment and, um, you know, called Brontosaurus and, uh, and, uh, you know, we just want to kind of capture a glimpse of that and, and, and kind of show, well, you said it earlier, it's like just trying to capture and show, like think of other ways of showing someone in, in, in that sort of moment of despair and, and not, you know, necessarily like smacking up or using a syringe or something kind of too sort of grotesque or brutal to look at visually and kind of see the effects afterwards or the night that, you know, you couldn't remember. And um, it definitely gives you a, a moment, you know, you definitely know who that person is or seen that kind of thing or don't want to be that person, you know?